What's up everybody? I came through the Great Smoky Mountains into Asheville, North Carolina to check out the music scene and to play some open mics. So here we go. First stop was the Sweet Peas Hostel. That's the place where I've always stayed in Asheville. It's a super cool uh, hostel. Uh, so I got settled in there and then I went out into the town to check out what was going on. First stop was Jack in the Woods. <laughs> Then I went walking around, I found uh, some people seeming to be protesting. Cute outfits, y'all. You guys look cute together. Did you mean to do that with your matchies? I love it. I like it. Like I guess they were just complimenting people with their little signs and their megaphones. And then I went to the 27 Club, which is a legit Asheville local bar. Then I went to check out the open mic scene. So first off was Catawba Brewery. This is open mic as one of the longest opening mics in Asheville and also one of the best I think there's always a bunch of people there I'm holding on to you now I'm holding on to you I've seen better days I've known better ways I'm holding on to you times got tough things got rough and I know we'll see it through I'm hanging out here on my own I'm holding on to you. Next up, I checked out the Alley Cat open mic, and this one was hosted by Lincoln. And when the world comes at you in all directions, when your gas is running low in the tank, when you're weary and you're looking for protection. In your mind, don't you know, you could take me back. Then I found a new open mic for me in this place called The Barrel House. It was a little bit of drive off of downtown, but uh, it was pretty cool. And I uh, actually enjoyed the drive. Got to see some trees and some nature and uh, fresh air. And it was hosted by Billy Litz. Because I've been to Omaha and I've been to Des Moines. I've seen the Mississippi all the way to Illinois. Spent time in Memphis and I've been to New Orleans. But the places that I think about are all the places that we've been. And finally, for open mics, I went to the Green Man Brewery. Now, the guy who was hosting it said his name was On the Stars. Cemetery Road. Cemetery Road, it's a place in town that you don't want to go I've been there once, but I ain't going back Well, every little town got a place like that Then I caught a poet, a real Asheville bard. His name was Nelson Sartori's, and he had a pretty cool poem about Asheville. I asked him if I could feature it in the video. And he said, yeah, so here it is. Ogling the estate, mountain views, eager for live music, buskers, hungry for gourmet, for beer, shopping for indigenous art, but mostly looking for different, eclectic, authentic, searching for rudiments of America's soul. They're a decade late. The city's soul is on life support. The native color has fallen, replaced by boutique hotels. Throngs of tourists just looking at other tourists. Eclectic morphed into mundane. Innocence traded for dollars. Authentic now dispersed, leaving Asheville a manicured, gentrified Disney town. So overall, this was a great trip. I always have such a good time when I come into Asheville. 
And this is actually a trip that's part of a larger uh, road trip I'm doing all along the eastern U.S. It's going to be five weeks long. It's like 6,000 miles. So hit that subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my post and stay tuned on what's coming up. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and any other cool things I should be doing in Asheville. And thanks for checking this out, and I appreciate your support.